we started out in 2009, you know, in the vortex of the whole recession and the whole uh, financial chaos. Yeah, we had this existentialistic approach to, you know, the, the journey is a reward in itself, that kind of approach to the work. And we really felt it was that the industry could be handled differently at that time. started to work from my living room, did a really small but super nice collection actually. And then we basically went on the road. We take pride in developing the company organically. I'd rather be a smaller player and solid. It's funny, the first couple of years of this company is kind of a blur to me still because we were, we were on the road constantly building up. Museum Luciana, I think, is a place where there are no ceilings. And sometimes in this kind of small city, you need grand scale places, really, really high quality art and furniture and stuff like that. I also use it as a place to breathe and to get my inspiration back. all about you yourself claiming control about what you do all the work accumulates all the every day it will never stop if you're on vacation or child relief or whatever it will never stop the only thing you can do is to start prioritizing you know can't deal with that whole availability people think that everyone is available all the time a libertine was a you know, guy in the 16th century who went, you know, against the norms and didn't want to obey to the religious rules and all that stuff. It's not like an anti-role, uh, but it's more, you do your own thing, you go your own ways, you create a life that suits you and not a society. That's kind of the basic, basic explanation. All that work and everything just materialized, you know, it's, it's, this, is the, this is for real right now. We've had like a lot of meetings with Libertine Libertine up here. We don't feel the Danish boundaries. The meatpacking is, uh, area is still super active. It's still very, very buzzing with butchers and fishmongers and a lot of restaurants from Copenhagen come here to buy their groceries and stuff. They start to blend in the creative businesses here with galleries and uh, you know, creative communities, bars, of course, and really good restaurants. It feels good to have an area you know really well and I think Copenhagen is uh, in its own small way. There's a lot of nice contrasts, you know, sloppy meets pretentious. That's what, you know, this place is about that. Fine, let's pull the plug and let's drink some wine.